Hi, my name is Dr. Shelley Cameron and I'm here on the beautiful campus of Nova Southeastern University's Davie Campus. I'm here to inspire your success. My journey on the study of success began during my doctoral studies when I had to research a topic for two to three years. I started thinking, why study a topic for such a long time without it being something that would be meaningful to society? So I went to the hairdresser intermittently, and while being at the hairdresser, I would see individuals coming in selling small snacks, fruits and other. So I began reflecting on it. Then it suddenly dawned on me. How can these individuals pay their bills while selling such simple things? So the conflicts occurred to me, and I suddenly saying, hey, why don't I research the ingredient, if there is a particular ingredient, why some individuals are successful and others are not. With a population of over 42 million people living in the United States from different countries worldwide, America is a country of immigrants. So though there are so many people migrating to the United States from different countries with the same goal to live the American dream, I discovered a study by Dr. Faresheth Amin where she looked at the same thing, but from a different perspective. I ventured on studying immigrants and the paths they took, success and what it meant to different people, while focusing on the topic of leadership. I decided on a phenomenal study interviewing leaders who held a senior leadership position in an organization, a tenured academic position at a top-ranked U.S. university or leaders who received a national honor or a strong standing in the community in the United States. These individuals shared their perspectives on the traits that contributed to their success, the challenges they had to overcome after migration, the strategies they used to overcome the challenges. I think my hardest challenge is when I first came here. They didn't know reggae. I had to educate them. And then sometime when I'm doing telemarketing, they didn't believe that a woman knew reggae. One of the challenges they had that stood out for me personally was cultural challenges. These, some of these individuals were from non-English speaking countries and that created a bit of dissonance for them when they came to the United States because not only had they, did they have to learn a new language, which is English, but they also had to be able to decipher how to communicate at work or at school with other people around them. This, of course, had an impact on their self-confidence, which they had to speak to themselves to overcome. Of course, I guess, as others would say, it's probably about um, being stereotyped. You know, here I am um, coming from another country, I probably am not understanding um, the basics of what goes on here. Um, to some extent, sometimes we are thought of that we don't have the same aspirations, um, we don't have the same goals or stick to itiveness sometimes. Um, so, yes, um, coming here as an Im immigrant and as a woman, um, it, 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 it bore its own challenges. Sometimes you probably thought we had to work. Um, harder than the others here. Um, sometimes just to prove ourselves, but just uh, because of what we are used to in terms of standards and in terms of going forward, um, we have to do what we have to do to, to prove ourselves. So you may ask, what are some of the traits that I found in my study on these leaders? First of all, persistence. Persistence is one that shines out as never give up. These leaders had a never give up attitude on their goals and perspectives. Well, I would say work hard, never give up, go for your passion. Another was passion. These leaders were passionate about what they had to do. They had a goal and they went after it. They had that inner drive that helped them never to give up. They had self-confidence. It's very, very important to believe in yourself, to believe that you can achieve those dreams and aspirations that you want to achieve. And in terms of going forward, um, we have to do what we have to do to, to prove ourselves. So when we're given less, we take less and we make more and we go forward. So today I use the results of this study 
to coach and inspire individuals in transition. I firmly believe that anyone can be successful, provided they work hard and never give up. I'm Dr. Shelley Cameron, and I look forward to joining you on your journey to achieve success. Thank you.